You're watching GSTS TV. That's too many letters. We should make it Glad TV. You're watching Glad TV. Welcome to Glad TV. On this episode, Mr. Reitzma is going to tell us about the life of Wall and the fish. Fish. And we're also gonna be doing experiments. We're also gonna find out the name of our mascot, the gladiator. And if you have anything for our future episodes, write them down and put them in the office. Now let's get on with our show. Something that makes me glad is my family. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see my teacher. Glad for my sister. I'm thankful for my family. My dog. I'm glad for her food. Food. I'm glad for my family. I'm glad for my animals. I am so glad that you're here. I'm glad for my dog, Brandy. For my basketball and my basketball team. Family and friends. Winter. One thing that makes me glad is math. I'm glad for the fact that my family loves me and that my friends care for me. I'm glad you're you. Hey everybody, Mr. Reitzma here. Just uh, taking care of the living wall. As you can see, these are real plants, so I'm just checking to see if we have any uh, dead leaves to take off so they don't fall into our fish tank. We got a grant in 2014 to start this living wall and the fish tank below, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, the students helped to design it, and uh, we had some guys come in and help us build this. We started off with only 10 of these African cichlids. That's these uh, blue ones and orange ones. They're called African cichlids and five Plecostomus. They're the big ones that look like almost dinosaur looking fish at the bottom. Since then, we've, they've had lots and lots and lots of babies. We've sold a lot of them, we've given a lot away, and as you can see, there's probably still 60 more fish or something in this tank. Because this uh, tank supplies the water to this whole living wall, it needs a lot of water. It's, uh, it pumps up a couple times a day, and the water runs through this meshy stuff on here, and it, it holds the water so that if, after it's on, it's all moist and uh, there's no soil in here at all. It's just some roots stuck in inside this uh, felt. They all grow quite well with having no soil. Just the nutrients that come up from the water from the fish and just the, the artificial light that we're supplying them uh, with this grow light here. Uh, older grades, grades seven and eight, if you're interested in helping take care of the living wall, uh, people need to clean the tank, f uh, feed the fish, and add water every day at work, uh, we're at school. So if that's you, come. Come and visit me over in the grade uh, seven, eight science. My favorite thing about being at Glendale and being a gladiator is that um, all the people here are very kind and respectful and that we have a lot of resources at our school that could help us learn and achieve our goals. If I'm having a rough day, somebody will either come talk to me or make me feel better. Achievement, respect, a mindfulness, openness, unity, and resilience. I'm pretty much, I'm more like unity, I would say. I, I try to be resilient. It's sometimes difficult, but you always got to try your hardest, so. Probably openness. Well, I like to tell um, people stuff and I love to tell them about how I'm feeling. Respect. By trying my best to be kind to people, even if they're not very nice to me. Uh, achievement, because I always try my best and always achieve. Respect means that you, that you listen to one another and, and if somebody trying to talk to you, just you you don't ignore them, you, li you listen to them. Our, we're a technology school, so we always are doing like fun things like coding and uh, making stuff and 
doing a whole bunch of cool stuff. The people here are generally really nice. The teachers are always great. And it's just a great school. What does it mean to be a gladiator? Uh, to be kind and strong and uh, to help others. And no matter what, just push through whatever and just try to help people as much as you can. It's a guess. It's an educated guess. All right, it's like an assumption. It's a prediction. It's a hunch. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roz here, grade five, five R, representing the Div 2. And today we're gonna to look at the experiment of dropping Mentos into soda. All right, I chose soda for a special reason because you can see the reaction that's gonna happen. So here we have club soda. Here we have the label off. And first I want you to make a prediction of what happens when you drop a Mentos into a carbonated drink. Now let's check to see if your predictions came true. All right, first, I'm gonna take the lid off. You can hear that. Oh, carbonation. <laughs> All right, so definitely carbonated. I'll take my Mentos, grab a couple, and in they go. And nothing happened. Why do you think nothing happened? Okay, the reason it didn't work is because Mentos have little pits called nucleation sites. And what I did beforehand and you didn't see was, I had popped them in my mouth and I licked them all off. All right, so this, this Mentos was nice and smooth. It did not work. But now, let's try this again. All right, with two fresh Mentos and a fresh bottle of soda. And right away, Home sweet home. Shut up. Calm it up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, oh, I made my underwear. Hi, everybody. My name is Hypotheses. I'm your Glendale Gladiator. When I'm not gladiating, I like to escape to my secret lab like Batman and come up with all kinds of cool experiments 
I love designing, I love building, assembling. I like trying new things, tinkering. I think it's always great to experiment. Nah, sometimes I fail. But I'm resilient, I don't give up easy. And I learn from my mistakes. But anyways, I thought I'd introduce myself to you. I look forward to meeting each one of you. And I'm looking forward to a great school year. Well, what's left of it anyways? The best way to get to know each other is through a game. So let's play a game of Science Says. Woohoo! Let's go gladiators! It's time for Science Says! Science Says is like the game Simon Says. We're gonna do a little example for you. Science says clap like a chicken. Clap, 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 clap. Science says clap. Science says clap like a duck. Clap, 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 clap. Stop. You're out. You're out. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's get the science says game started. Science says jump around like excited animals. Stop! Oh, you're out. <laughs> Science says wave your hands in the air look counterclockwise. Faster! 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 Oh, if you were going faster, you're out. <laughs> Science says you're a seed that's growing into a huge plant. Science says, swim around like the fish in our fish tank. Science says, pretend you're ice and you're melting. Stand up. Uh-oh, got a couple of you. Science says, spin around the same way as the earth rotates. Science says, show me how you'd walk on the sun. Science says, show me how you'd walk on the moon. Now jump on one foot, out the other. Oh. Science says point north. Science says point south. Point east. Point west. Point at your pencil. If you point it anywhere else besides north and south, you're out. Science says make 90 degree angle with your hands. Now make a 45 degree angle. Uh oh, someone else is out. Science says, celebrate like you just won the science fair. Now cry that you lost. Uh oh, someone's out. Celebrate like you just got hot lunch. Science says, stay two meters away from the person next to you. Okay, if you're still in the game, raise your hand. Raise your hand, you're out of the game now. Simon says, if you're still in the game, you're going to get some prizes. So your teacher will get you those prizes probably by next day. Everybody, thank you for playing. It was an awesome time. That's me saying goodbye.